Well, we could definitely use that today with record breaking heat this afternoon. 101, our high officially at DIA, breaking the previous record of 100 for the day, set back in 1878. So temperatures in the 90s and triple digits here across eastern Colorado today, still in the triple digits from Pueblo into Lamar, up in the high country, the 80s and 90s for afternoon highs. But here in Denver, 101, that official afternoon high today broke the record this afternoon, but we also broke a record on Friday. 102 is what we hit, and we broke the record of 101. We didn't quite make it on Saturday, hitting a high of 99, just missed that record of 100, and then we broke one today. And we're at the end of this hot streak. It will be warm tomorrow with highs in the 90s, but then our temperatures will just keep going down as we get through our seven-day forecast into the middle of the week. So temperatures will be dropping next week. We'll have cooler air with some rain showing up. And as for our climate calendar, 101, that high today, the record 100, as I mentioned, and our average afternoon high this time of year is 90 degrees. Now we're starting to see some instability in the atmosphere. The high pressure that's been in control for days, keeping things hot and dry, starting to break apart a little bit. So we do have scattered showers off to the west. We've seen some rain up toward Fort Collins and Greeley, stretching all the way out toward Fort Morgan and Sterling. Not much has been happening in Denver, but we have seen more rain come down off the foothills here just in the last half hour or so. So we could see a few scattered showers here in Denver. Not a lot of that is going to be hitting the ground, but down through southern Colorado, we have some showers and thunderstorms. Nothing is severely warned here across the state, but it will uh, give a little bit of a break to some of the heat if that rain shows up in your city. Now we do have a heat advisory still in effect until this evening at eight o'clock. It's been in effect since Friday and we're going to hang on to some warm temperatures tonight and still some smog in the atmosphere. Ozone Action Alert Day continues until midnight tonight. So it's still going to be a little hazy out there, nice and mild for the rest of this evening and just a few high clouds passing through. Temperatures in the 60s overnight here across the plains. We're expecting a low of 70 degrees here in Denver with 60s off to the west and 50s up toward Estes Park and out near Keystone. Tomorrow temperatures in the 90s once we hit about 11 a.m. We'll be in the mid 90s by 2 p.m. and our high expected to be around 97 degrees. So we'll have some rainy relief tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures in the 90s tomorrow during the day. Triple digits for southeastern Colorado in 70s and 80s as you head up in elevation off to the west. So still a great day to get to the swimming pool. Just watch the skies for a few scattered thunderstorms late in the day. Our future cast showing some of those showing up tomorrow afternoon and evening here for the front range, the eastern plains, and a few spotty showers in the high country. Now on our Super 7 day forecast will be in the 90s tomorrow. Some rain moving in. Then we drop into the mid to upper 80s here Tuesday and Wednesday. Sunshine is back out. We're right around 90 on Friday afternoon, which is actually average for this time of year. And then a nice looking weekend with highs in the mid 80s for Saturday and Sunday.